This is the Repsol MLM2 Pro, by far one of the most popular launch models released this year. And in today's video, we're going to be checking out Awesome Golf App with the Rapsodo just to see how good it really is. So let's do this. So the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro comes in at $699, but what do you get for that price? Well, you get the MLM2 Pro unit, a tripod, a carrying case, a charging cable, and a one-year premium membership. You also get a sleeve of the new Callaway Chromesoft X Rapsodo Precision Technology for RPT golf balls. So with the premium membership by itself, it's $199 a year, but this is included for the first year when you get the unit. Now, before I activate my premium membership, the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro did let me use practice mode. However, once I activated my premium membership, then I had access to both combines and simulation mode. Now, if you look at the Rapsodo's website, the premium membership is not required to use the MLM2 Pro. However, it does significantly enhance the user's experience by giving you access to 30,000 simulated golf courses, their combine training platform, and a whole lot more. Now, what I think is really cool is that they're giving you a one-year free membership at the $699 price point. So in the original Rapsodo, it had a built-in Doppler radar to read ball flight. So you would use your phone camera or your tablet camera to record your swing. But with the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro, there are actually two cameras along with a Doppler radar that's built into the unit. Now the top camera, now this is called impact vision camera. And this tells us the moment of truth at impact, showing you the slow motion view of your club path at contact point at 200 frames per second. Now the bottom camera, this is the shot vision camera. And this is what we are already used to with the original Rapsodo. This shows us the down the line video with the shot tracer. And we can immediately pair the feeling of your swing with the outcome of your shot. So to me, this is a huge upgrade and is nothing we've really seen before in this technology. What is so great is that you can use the Rapsodo both indoor and outdoor. Now in order to use the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro, you're gonna first need to pair it with your phone or tablet. Now what's really great is that you can use both iPhone and Android. Now this has always been a huge sticking point with the old Rapsodo because it's only worked on iOS and not Android. So that's a huge upgrade in my book. Now if you're going to set the Rapsodo MLM indoors, you're going to need 6.5 to 8 feet behind you. And you're going to need 8 feet of ball flight between the ball and net when you're hitting it indoors. What is really great is that you can now connect to third party software, both E6 and Awesome Golf. Now this is something that the old Rapsodo could never do. Now the Rapsodo app itself gives you a ton of cool features, including cloud storage, which can hold to 10,000 videos, slow motion replay, sessions insights, Rapsodo combines, Rapsodo courses, and the Rapsodo range, which honestly looks really cool and not cartoony. It even shows you impact vision and dual camera. Now there are 13 points of data with Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. It's ball speed, club speed, smash factor, launch angle, launch direction, carry distance, total distance, spin data, now spin rate, which I'll get to in a second, spin access, descent angle, side carry, apex, and shot type. Now with all this information, there's no doubt the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro will help dial in our games. Now to have spin data, now this is actually pretty huge. This has always been an area where the smaller launch monitors struggled. The Rapsodo MLM2 Pro comes with a sleeve of Callaway Chromesoft X RPT golf balls. Now the RPT stands for Rapsodo Precision Technology. Now they have a unique pattern which is used to capture spin and, and spin access incredibly accurate. And through Rapsodo's partnership with Callaway, they've specifically engineered these golf balls to deliver the ultimate golf experience by providing spin measurements within 1% of the accuracy of a high speed launch monitor. Now to me, that's insane. Now if you don't use these balls, unless you use a regular golf ball, the unit will still work, but just without the spin access data. Now, we've been told that these balls will last about 600 shots. All right, so in order to use Awesome Golf with the Rapsodo LM2 Pro, first thing you have to do is connect your Rapsodo to your device. Um, so here I'm using my iPad, and we're gonna go ahead and connect the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. You say yes, it's gonna load. And I found it. I say no, because I don't wanna do Wi-Fi. I actually wanna use the built-in Wi-Fi in the unit itself. I'm gonna continue. Now it's gonna find the Rapsodo. Now we're connected, so you're gonna hit start a session. All right, so now you're gonna to go to simulation, and then you go to third-party apps. Now, you sometimes have to connect the uh, third-party app, either Awesome Golf or E6 Connect, to Rapsodo. So in order to do that, you're gonna to have to click the screen. It's gonna ask you, are you sure you wanna connect the third-party app? You say connect. If you don't do that, the Awesome Golf will not work with the Rapsodo. Um, so now, it's connected. 
So now what you do is you can leave the screen and then you're gonna go to Awesome Golf. So here we are in Awesome Golf, it's loading. And here you're gonna pick Rapsodo and you're gonna say connect via Bluetooth. And now see, it's found my device. So um, now you're going to Awesome Golf and you should be working. So now what we're gonna do is just go to the range today and we're gonna do a shot by shot. Now I like to use the overview, um, but let's go ahead and use the detail screen because we're gonna see how accurate Awesome Golf is. Uh, we'll be comparing it to the, to the GC3 that's below me. So go ahead and play golf. And I'm gonna pick the pitching wedge first, hit done. Okay, now we're ready to go. Okay, so now it's waiting for the first shot. I got my pitching wedge here. I know it's all lined up because I aligned everything prior to making the video. The GC3 has no barometric pressure and uh, the Rap Soto isn't showing that either. And I'm using the RPT balls. Go ahead the first shot. Okay, so this first shot, we got 105 carry on the GC3, we got a 108 carry, so about, about, about three yards-ish. Um, the ball speed is showing 82.5, and the GC3 is showing 82.6, which is nuts. Uh, the carry is showing 105, like I said before, 108.4, and the total spin is showing 51.50, and the total spin here is showing 50.88, it's off by 70. That's insane. Okay, let's do it again. Yep, I feel like I hit that little one to right a little bit. All right, so on this one, GC3 is showing 128 carry. Awesome Golf is showing 130.5. The ball speed of 98.2. We have a ball speed of 98, so 0 0.2. Uh, the spin is showing 76.16 on Awesome Golf. And it's 76.49. That's crazy how close that is. All right, so let's hit one more. Okay, on this last shot, I got 119 carry on the GC3 at 121.4, so off by about two and a half yards. Uh, spin is showing 62.61 on the Rap Soto. 63.49 on the GC3, it's only off by 100 in spin. That's nuts, and the RPM, and what else we got? Oh, this is crazy, okay. The launch angle is showing 25.2 on the GC3, and it's showing 25.2 on the Awesome Golf. So, I mean, this third-party app, I really like this using the Awesome Golf app, because it shows you a ton of information, it's all right here in front of you. Um, I use the Awesome Golf app mainly for the Garmin R10, but this is a really great way of seeing all those data points and using it, and they just updated the graphics so it looks a lot better. But, I mean, straight out of the butt, I mean, like straight out of the gate, the number is showing exactly the same. Let's go ahead and hit seven iron and see how that looks. Hit it kind of low. All right, so I got, I got 154 carry on Rapsodo, I got 149. So about four and a half yards off um, of the carry. Now the ball speed is showing 107. Ball speed is 107.4, it's only off by 0.4 in ball speed. The spin is showing 4,800 spin on GC3, and we're showing 4721, so it's off by 80 RPM, that's crazy. All right, and then this, the launch angle is showing 15.7, launch angle showing 14.9, I mean, that's, Pretty dead on. Let's do another one. Oh, I hit that bad, bad, bad shot. That's good. Let's see if it picks it up. I hit way behind the ball. She was short. Yep, I knew it. All right. So that's a miss hit. Total miss hit. We got 77 and a half yards on carry. We got 80 on carry. Or, I'm sorry, 84.7 on carry. So, I mean, it's picking up the miss hit. The speed is 80.6 on the ball speed. I got 80.8 on the ball speed, so it's like almost the exact same number. All right, so that's a total miss hit on my part. I mean, I hit 80 yards. I hit way behind that ball. The Rapso still picked it up, showed a spin of 20.24 on the RPM, and the GC3 is showing 21.50. So it means off by 100 in spin on a total bad miss hit. 
Um, that's just, that's nuts. Okay, so let's do one more. Kind of a little short. Let's see what it says. All right, so we're showing 125 carry on the GC3, 125 carry on the Rapsodo, and 92 ball speed, 92.2 ball speed, and 92.2 ball speed. It's the exact same ball speed. All right, so the spin is showing 2790, 2849, with a launch of 18.2, 7.3. So as you guys saw, using Awesome Golf with the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro works flawlessly. The numbers are coming out exactly what the GC3 is showing. So you can trust the data that's coming in through it. Awesome Golf is a great app to use for, you know, you can play different games, you can play courses. I like using the range feature because I like seeing all that data. Um, I especially like using it with the Garmin R10 because the Garmin R10 app is not that great in my personal opinion. Um, but I do like the Rapsodo app a lot. I think the display looks good and it looks a lot prettier than Awesome Golf, but Awesome Golf is a fantastic app to use. Um, a lot of you guys are already using it already. So big thanks to our friends Indoor Golf Design for letting you use an amazing simulator. To be honest, I'm just blown away with Rapsodo M12 Pro. I mean, for $699, you have both a launch monitor and a golf simulator that can connect to third-party apps, such as Awesome Golf. I would highly recommend any of you guys out there looking for an affordable launch monitor and simulator this golf season. So there's links down below, check out the Rapsodo M12 Pro. But if you want to see what we thought with the Grab Soto LM2 Pro up against a GC3 to see how accurate the unit really is, then check out this video right here where we put it to the test. And I'll see you in the next video.